Raised in Kono, Nigeria, Joseph Yobo journeyed to Belgium as an 18-year-old to find his fortunes as a footballer. After having a successful youth career at Michelin of Port Harcourt in Nigeria, Yobo signed for Belgian club Standard Liège. Although his time was brief in Belgium, Yobo established himself as one of the best young central defenders playing in Europe. He caught the attention of numerous teams while at Standard, and with teams sniffing around, was expected to move on to bigger and better clubs. After 48 games and two goals with Standard Liège, and his services in high demand, Yobo moved to French team Marseille in 2001. There, his star continued to grow. In the summer of 2001, Marseille paid Standard Liège £3.4 million. However, similar to his time at Standard, Joseph Yobo's spell at Marseille was brief, although very successful. The French team was struggling at the turn of the century, and the season before Yobo arrived, Marseille finished 15th. His presence in defence, however, helped settle the team and Marseille only conceded 39 goals as the team improved, finishing a respectable ninth. In the end, Yobo only played 23 matches for the club before being sent to Everton of the English Premier League on loan the next season. Everton would be the team that would provide him with his most successful seasons of football. After starring at the 2002 World Cup in Japan and South Korea, Joseph Yobo became the first signing by Everton manager David Moyes. Initially a one-year loan deal, Yobo's play was brilliant. He showcased power, speed and athleticism that few defenders had ever shown before at Goodison Park. For eight seasons, Yobo was paired alongside the likes of Alan Stubbs, David Weir, Jolion Lescott and Phil Jagielka. However, regardless of his central defence partner, Everton performed well at the back. In four of his eight seasons at Everton, Yobo helped the club qualify for Europe, making it one of the club's most successful periods in recent times. In 2010, with his Everton playing time decreasing, Joseph Yobo joined Turkish team Fenerbahce on a season-long loan deal. It was a move that paid off well for the Nigerian. Yobo played 33 times for the club and helped Fenerbahce to the 2010-11 Turkish Super League title. His performances were stellar as the team allowed 34 goals during the Turkish season. His play didn't go unnoticed either. After two successful years on loan in Turkey, Fenerbahce made the deal permanent. He followed up the success of the Turkish League Championship with two consecutive Turkish Cups in 2011-12 and 2012-13. In all, Yobo played 90 matches for the side, notching three goals. In January 2014, Joseph Yobo returned to England at the age of 33, signing for Norwich City on loan. In his debut, Yobo showed that he had the ability and presences of mind to compete with the English Premier League's best. In that debut match, Yobo and the Canaries kept a clean sheet against the EPL's top-scoring team Manchester City, but trouble struck as the Canaries struggled on the pitch. Yobo was unable to keep Norwich City in the Premier League, as the club were relegated at the end of 2014. Their relegation meant any ideas of a permanent move were off. Following the Norwich City's relegation, Yobo disappeared from club football. While national team football success came for Joseph Yobo, the same successes never materialised in European competitions. The centre-back featured 25 times combined for Everton and Fenerbahce in the Europa League and UEFA Cup, netting two goals. These competitions were another platform for the Nigerian greats to showcase his talents. Unfortunately, Yobo never had the same success in the Champions League, Seven times Yobo played in the Champions League qualifiers, but never made it to the tournament proper. Yobo's last chance at the Champions League qualification was the bitterest pill for the defender to swallow, as Fenerbahce were torn apart by Arsenal 3-0. Due to injury, Yobo was unable to seek revenge in the return match, and now leaves the game without ever playing in the Champions League group stages. In March 2016, Former Nigerian captain Joseph Yobo officially called time on his career, and what an international career it was, as the defender tallied 100 caps for the Super Eagles. Yobo's international career with Nigeria spanned three World Cups and six African Cup of Nations tournaments. His greatest achievement as an international was in 2013, as the Super Eagles won the African Cup of Nations defeating Burkina Faso. Although he will go down as one of the greatest defenders in Nigerian football history, Yobo was able to tally seven goals in international fixtures. In spite of the lack of silverware in his trophy cabinet, Yobo found tremendous success on the pitch. Belgium, France, England and Turkey were the stops on his footballing journey, and in each, 
he showed he was one of the world's best defenders. May 27, 2016 will mark Yobo's final farewell as he takes to the pitch one last time for his testimonial. The match will take place in Port Harcourt, the same place Yobo's journey started all those years ago. With his career now coming full circle, he will say goodbye in style, in front of his adoring home support.